a very good morning to one and all on this very fresh start to the day. It is 9 a.m. now on the morning of Saturday, the 21st of October. And uh, as you can see, I'm on the promenade by these very popular attractions and the comedy carpet just in the distance there. I'm going to take you to the railings. So as you can see, the pier, the North Pier, the beach and the Irish Sea. Now this is to introduce my video which will be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow morning on the Sunday. Now firstly this channel would like to send all best wishes and regards to all the families who are suffering from this terrible storm. Seen terrible pictures on the television of flooding. Best wishes are sent to one and all and also to all the viewers and all the businesses that help me keep this channel going. Thank you very much. Now, also many thanks for seeing my midweek videos. The video coming up, all the builds, and I hope something else at the end if I'm able to get anything today. So here we are then. I must start this video off now thanking one and all again for all their support and I mustn't forget best wishes again to all the families who have suffered from flooding. Bye bye, I'll see you later. Here's your video. We are at the build of the Holiday Inn. Now across the road you will please see two bus stops that have been erected. Well, this morning I'd just like to show you this. This is Euroshell. They're one of the companies that do these bus shelters. And here we are, in front here is all the glass needed for the shelters across the road. So very soon these bus stops will be completed. It is Tuesday now, a very good morning to one and all, 17th of October. There's Blackpool North Railway Station. Now, I'm going to show you these views here because I'm right on top and looking down to the underpass. And as you can see, this early, this early morning, it has received a coating of concrete. No doubt you can distinguish that from the dark looking area to the light area. So yes, it's coming along now and I'm told other vehicles, other vehicles containing concrete are due here later on in the morning. So just to show you what is happening at this underpass. I'm leaving the underpass area and I'm going to walk up this ramp because I have another item that I would like to show you. And it is this one here. There we are, I'm ready to show you now. Now then, there's the forklift there and those containers there. Well, I'd like to tell you, they are standard of wardrobes. Yes, the arrival of the first of the wardrobes to this Holiday Inn in Blackpool. Oh yes, we are still at this build of the Holiday Inn and now I can show you across the road the bus shelters. Yes, those two bus shelters are now completely finished. We have all the necessary glass in place, including the attractive looking glass roof. And also, please notice that there is seating as well within these shelters. So a nice job been done here, the completion of the bus stops. Now, if I may quickly add, it is not known when these will open. Maybe not until all the plant machinery in the build that you see over there 
maybe this, these stops will not be in use until they all go. So there we are, that's a visit today to the build and the underpass and the bus stops at the build of the Holiday Inn. A very good morning to one and all. It's Thursday now, the 19th of October, just coming up to midday on this beautiful sunny mid-morning. Now, we are at the build here of the cinema complex and the giant store being built underneath. There we are. There's the copper coloured cladding and the white cladding. And I'm just going to show you this here. One and all will know this view here and you can see some wooden framework there in place. Can you see that wooden framework there? Now, I'm going to show you this here at ground level. I can move around here and you will see an array of scaffolding here. I'm told also a large amount has also been already moved inside. All this scaffold is in fact needed for interior work for all the cinemas that lay in this cinema complex. Now to continue our visit, which I hope you are finding interesting, I'm just going to be very careful. I'm walking on the double yellow lines and you will notice this here. Yes, one and all, if you wish, can now walk adjacent to this giant store. And I've got the opportunity of showing one and all all this lovely paving work that has taken place. There we are, I'm right adjacent to the build of this giant shop unit. And again, I'm going to walk you up here Oh, you glide, you glide over this work here of this beautifully placed paving. Paving tiles, marvellous. There we are. So if you wish, you can walk along here. And we're coming now to the end of the build. And I can show you this view here now, because again, look, everything at ground level, all finished. Just odds and ends left over. The harass fencing, and as said, some odds and ends. So there we are. That's our once a week visit to this now very interesting build of the cinema complex and the giant store that is being built underneath. We will see one and all next week on our next visit. I must not waste this beautiful sunny Thursday afternoon. We are now at the build of the Works and Pensions Office. And I can show you now that white mobile crane. There we are, and hopefully you can pick out the driver and the other white mobile crane in the background there. Now, this one here is feeding that contractor there on that cradle. And also in front of that contractor, on a cradle, there is another one there, on a blue cradle. Just going to walk closer to the gates. And there we are, we, we have a view now of the driver of the mobile crane. And we can look in to the build and see this huge amount of erected steel 
girders. We will move on now. We have arrived at our next viewing area to this field of the Works and Pensions Office. And from here, we can now see a cherry picker there in the background, the blue one. I believe that's feeding that contractor on the top girder there in the cradle. Can you see him? And also, at the same time, this second of the two mobile, white mobile cranes that was in our first viewing, at our first viewing area. That is also feeding that contractor as well. And looking back, looking back to where we've just come from, and you can see much clearer now, those two contractors in their separate cradles. Just going to show you a view into the build at ground level. And we will now move on. We have now arrived at our third and final viewing area to this impressive build. And I can show you all the stories here. Yes, there we are. This is the actual build of the works of the Finishers Office. All under seven stories. All that remains to be done is the placing and installation of a roof. So with this view here, looking into the build, this will complete our tour today of the progress at the building of the Works and Pensions Office. It is now coming just up to 1pm in the afternoon on this still sunny Thursday, the 19th of October. There's Mark Kelly's there, so that must mean that yes, I, I cannot turn down this wonderful afternoon of weather. So I'm going to pay our weekly visit here to this build of the Holiday Inn, as yes, I have several things to show and explain. Well, this is our view from our first viewing area. And you can see the placing of the new actual bus stops. There we are, they're in front of you now. And that small wall with the railings. And the other side of that small with the railings, this is what I want to show you here. Extensive work here, outside extensive work. We will move on now. Moving on around, and I'm going to show you a view that you have already seen earlier this week. The erection and finishing of the placing of two new bus stops. There we are, right opposite you now. I'm going to progress now, I'm going to move on. I must show you this before we return to the Holiday Inn build. And yes, we have the return of an old friend, the Big Bird. There we are, and as one and all know now, this is made up completely of black London taxi cabs. There we are, there's his wings, his head, etc. And the legs, of course, the big bird, all in caged and on show to one and all, virtually outside the giant storm of the Sainsbury's. Down there is the entrance of Blackpool North Railway Station and turning the camera around I can offer this view here 
of where we have just come from to the build of the Holiday Inn. And yes, you've seen this view as well. The view of this finished area. Zebra crossing and paving blocks and this nicely finished tarmac road. So I'm going to walk down this ramp here, which will take us to the build of the underpass. And yes, we visited this area earlier this week. And look, oh, I'm ever so pleased with this because yes, this is my first view of this as well. And we have steps. Yes, we have an impressive looking build of sets of steps that will enable all foot passengers arriving and leaving on and off the trams and arriving here at the end of the underpass for one and all to either arrive or leave at Blackpool North Railway Station. Look, we have the necessary steps to take us up to the level of the road and the railway station. And yes, we can see some more concrete has been laid. We were here earlier in the week, but as said, this is my very first viewing of these steps. Marvellous. So there we are, wonderful progress at this underpass. We are around the other side now to this build and regular viewers will know that last week's video was closed down at this area here showing this newly laid road. Now if I may please explain as quickly as possible all that you have seen this morning so far at this build one and all could really say it is virtually all completed except possibly for the underpass but other than that all the areas that we've visited so far has been completed now this is what i need to show you and explain to you these views here that you're going to see will show that there is still quite a lot of work to be done to the build inside and outside of this project of the Holiday Inn. You can see this area here. There's the powerhouse and the utility service house there. Moving on now, walking against this harass fencing. And we now come to this viewing area here. Yes, this is what is facing the contractor still at this build, this vast area. Now that's nice. That wooden, that, the actual small wall there the brick is small but that's nice and perhaps you can see the sign of North Station and there we are outside of the build that's the giant car park of Talbot Road and we move on looking through this harass fencing and again, you can gauge the enormous amount of work that still has to be done. So really, all I wanted to explain to one and all was, there's two areas. The first area that we see, all virtually finished, one could say, but there's still quite a bit to do, as you can see, from the gates now of our principal viewing area. So, with a view through these particular gates, this will complete our visit today to the build 
of the Holiday Inn and we will see one and all next time. A good morning to one and all. It is Saturday now, October the 21st. And to start our videoing off today, we're outside the bread basket. Now, earlier this week, I think it was on the Wednesday, this bread basket had visitors and they were from the Food Standards Agency. And look what happened. After a very severe look round, oh yes, they checked everything, this establishment of Tony's was awarded five stars. So what we're going to do now is, what we're going to do now is just simply move inside and I'm going to quickly run you down the lovely selection of cakes here. And all his lovely items for the sandwiches. Don't when you have a sandwich... Oh yes, now this I can, these I can recommend. Lovely steak pies. I myself and my wife have one of these for our weekend's food. Oh, wait a minute. Who have we here? We have a very well-known member of Blackpool. It's Robin Ross. Morning, a good morning, Robin. A good morning, Robin. Oh, I see you've got your breakfast. I've come for my fresh food because there's five star rating. <laughs> best you can get. <laughs> of course freshest, it is. <laughs> freshest, best you can get in Blackpool, without a doubt. There we are, you tell them. And there over here, and the over here. Is, now, Tony, oh look, a, a nice poster for inside from the food hygiene rating. So I do hope you've enjoyed this little visit, a little bit of fun from Tony Not and problem, also Colin. Robin it's Ross. It's a lot of Thank fun. Thank you. <laughs> Our next visit today is down Topping Street and regular viewers will know that earlier this week we made a video about this new shop here, the Henry's Nirvana shop and we were able to see Jill who took us all around the shop. Now look at this, look, a lovely new sign here and also on the doorstep we see the other half of the... <laughs> <laughs> this is Phil. A good morning, Phil. Now morning. it's 10 a.m. in the morning, and you've just opened the door here yes. for the very first time. So I wonder, please, just show us around very quickly and okay, introduce we'll yourself. Come on in. Well, all of it you've seen already with my wife. Thank you. Uh, what we will be featuring coming soon when we get the space is I make the scented candles customized candles, um, all therapeutic, all natural soaps, no chemicals, no animal products. And you'll see me walking around town today. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, Phil, thank you for your time. It's now just past 10 a.m., your first morning of trading. Yes. And I wish you, along with all my viewers, all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. And we have one more venue to visit. It is to the Abingdon Street Market of Blackpool. Now today, there is a record show and clothing show here of tops. Yes, now I must explain for the first time, there'll be another explanation within this, within this market. I'm really pushed for time because I've only just found out all about this very interesting day which the market is going to provide and they're going to be playing music so I've got to do this video as quick as I can before the DJ starts so I'm going to go inside now to Abingdon Street Market for this record fair and clothing fair well we are inside the venue now and I must explain I'm really, really pushed for time. In five minutes, there is a live actual DJ here. So he's going to be playing loud music. So I've got to do a flying visit around inside this market today. Emphasis on the sale of records and tops. So here we are. The 
This is the first stall. This is inertial sounds. And they're into teas, totes, and slip mats. There we are. And turning around, we have a rack of tops here. And this is the stall of Northern Tide. Hi, how are you doing, mate? Okay. Pleased, Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. you. Okay. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thank You've got you. a lovely array of clothes here. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. All organic. organic. They're all clothing. organic. Organic clothing. Yeah. Um, obviously, since since lockdown and stuff, uh, just a lot of pollution in Blackpool, getting washed up on the, on the beaches. So I just thought I could do my little part for it. So that's when I decided to go into clothing Thank again. Thank you very much. No worries at all. I'm just going to show you, show everyone yeah, the record. This is a brand new that... one. This is brand new smart. This is um, this is going to be due for release in about a week's time. So there's that. And this is like current stock I've, I've got in a minute on my website. Thank you. Uh, and if you like some uh, new t-shirts as well, over here. Lovely. There's some more new t-shirts. Thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're going to approach this stall here. It's Upbeat Rock Academy. And there's a nice young man here. I wonder if he can say a few words for me. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm, I'm Will. I work for Upbeat Rock Academy. We're based in uh, Paulton the Fowl Industrial Estate. Um, we're a music school and we teach uh, any ages really, between like six and 88, all the way up to there. So um, we have private lessons and band sessions and we run, we run events, we run gigs uh, here in Blackpool or locally around Bolton um, and give a lot of kids some great opportunities to perform and get some good experiences, um, whether that's performing or just learning to play in by themselves or with others. Um, we're also hosting like a little October camp over Halloween, uh, which you can see so we've got some leaflets here for. We've got some of our own, own leaflets here as well for the main academy. Um, and over the half term, we have some uh, a lot, a lot of kids coming in uh, over the next week, um, and we're just going to have a bit of fun with them, do some band sessions, uh, just run a run a Thank you very there. much. Yes. You've been great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Very thank much. you very much. And here, we have a stall here. Oh. Boogie prints. And this is their stall here. With a full price list. Thank you, young man. Thank you very much. It's not me, it's not my stall, it's my brother's Felix. Right, well, I've just promoted you. Sorry? I've just promoted you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we move on down here. An array of LPs. And this is Tiny Pug Records. A row of well-known LPs, The Beatles, Queen's Greatest Hits, and at the end, the king of them all, Michael Jackson, Dangerous. And moving on down to this last stall here, we can see this huge collection of LPs and 45s. So there we are. I would have liked to have done this much longer, but unfortunately, due to the arrival of the DJ who will be playing loud music, this is where I must end the visit today of this very impressive record, at this record fair and clothing fair. It is 1.30pm in the afternoon 
And to close this video up, I have brought you down to the very last steps that lead onto the beach and the view of the gentle waves of the Irish Sea. Well, I do hope one and all has enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for viewing and also for viewing all the other videos I uploaded this week. Now, this video is not quite over because yes, I have some clips for you. So I'm going to leave you in the very, hand, very safe hands of those clips and I will see one and all next time. Bye-bye now, bye-bye. Thank you.